What is going on, everybody? What if I told you I was involved in a project that has the fastest settlement in all of blockchain and it's been in development since 2018, just released fairly recently. It's an active and usable blockchain. It's a permissioned system because it's made and it's built for companies. It's not built for you and it's not built for me. It's built for major corporations to use in order to do their settlements faster than they've ever done before. And there could be some official announcements coming very soon that are going to send it to a new level. Now, that's all speculation. That's all possibility. But I have partnered with this team and I've partnered with them because I am excited about the prospect and the possibility. And for those of you that know me, those of you done business with me in the past, you know I take USDT, USDC, because that is what I'm interested in. Um, but on this project specifically, uh, I asked for tokens from uh, the project instead of actual cash because I think this is going to be one that has a life-changing opportunity, at least for me. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you about my opinion, and I'm telling you why. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. Uh, you'll notice that we've reduced some of the sponsors on the channel, uh, removed a few of them. Uh, if you're interested, in, support me, Bitflex, uh, crypto, Cryptonomy.Finance, KCEX. But we're going to talk about Dev E today. And you guys, lock and load, because I think this thing is very, very fascinating. So... Uh, Devi platform here, unmatched performance, unmatched value. We've talked about this before, and you know the the question, the the thing that we've hung our hat on when I talked to you about it before was eight million transactions per second. Now, that was done in a test. Now that cost a hundred thousand dollars to to do that test. So I just want you guys to understand these guys have put up a lot of money to 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 make themselves uh, show what they can do. And we have this token launch, right? Uh, it, it launched in February, and it's trading right now. Trading at, I want to say, about 32 to 30. Between 32 and 40 cents is really kind of where it is. So uh, if you want to check that out, you're welcome to certainly go check that out. Now, the other thing is the launch pad. And the launch pad has launched one token so far. Just finished the, the launch process. And that was Fias token. Fias token is part of the LitCraft experience. And if you're not uh, familiar with LitCraft, then you probably should be because... It is a very interesting sort of experience. Now, I'm going to mute this, and I'm going to play it in the background so that you're able to see this while we talk about it. Uh, and there's a lot to unpack when you're dealing with this whole LitCraft ecosystem and experience. You can earn all, all of the stuff that you're watching right now, and I'm going to encourage you to download the game, start playing it, check it out. Give it a few moments, see if you like it. Uh, but you can earn, and as you can see right here, this is the battlefield. You can play battling against whomever it is that your opponent would be or you can do it against the computer you can pve or pvp there's over 230 plus pets to choose from uh crafted as nfts on the dev x blockchain so it's almost a gasless transaction discover the world of litcraft and certainly go check this thing out now if you are interested in that and if that's uh, something that you like, then become a player, do you know whatever it is. Now, let's move on. Let me answer one more question here. I said that this is the fastest blockchain, but here's the thing. If you look at the top blockchains for the highest transactions per second, and this is sub one, se one second uh, resolution, also along with it, uh, not only that, but the, the cost, very, very low cost to, to do, one of the cheapest blockchains, and one millionth, billionth, the energy of Bitcoin. The, the amount of usage so and that's in comparison to Paris in comparison this is going to be incredibly easy to use but look this is the highest uh, blockchain transactions uh, per second and and it's you know pretty simple here um, the the highest of course Solana the the big dog in the yard uh, 1053 transactions per second look you don't have to do a thousand transactions per second we don't have that kind of a robust economy yet uh, sweet 854 BSC 378 polygon you go down the list here ethereum 22 transactions per second so you can see here how this how this goes Bitcoin 10 transactions per second so some of these older uh, some of these older you know projects out here just they don't settle nearly as as robust and as quickly uh, as some of these uh, these newer ones, right? Well, this one's up to 8 million, and it's based on a system in which, again, this is permission, so what it does is if you decide that you're going to be a customer and you're going to start using the DevX blockchain, then, then what you're going to do is you're going to spin up your own shards. That's going to be your own validator because it's a private blockchain built especially for you. 
and you can do your settlements based on that. You could run it just with your own game. So you can spin up your own shards and have your own validators validating the process, or you can secure the blockchain with the players that are in the game that you want to launch or in the ecosystem that you want to build. You can do this all on your own and you would just have a, a section of this DevX blockchain and that would be donated to, that, that would be for you to use and set up your own sharding system so that the people that are validating are validating for you, not for the overall system, just in your uh, lane, if you will. And you'll be able to make a choice on, on how you want to do that. So it's a very interesting concept and it involves many, many different businesses able to use this. And all they have to do is continue to spin up more shards. So single DevX blockchain with one shard, thousand transactions per second with a hundred, a hundred thousand transactions per second. It's very simple. All you have to do is create your own sharding mechanism and you're able to do that. And basically sharding for those of you that are unfamiliar is a validation process. So the validation process, very, very simple. Now let me come over here and I want to give you, because a lot of people ask a question like if you're, if you have your own blockchain, if you have your own system, why would you launch it on ERC 20? Because that's where the, the launch of the token was. And there is an answer here, and it comes from Tom, who's one of the founders. It says, why would I launch an L1 launch on an ERC token first? Debbie has its own business model and ecosystem it is building. In the white paper, you can see three areas of utility, and over time, there will likely be more. Several areas of the Debbie business model work well using the Debbie on any platform. ERC20 tokens have a robust ecosystem already, is easier to work with exchanges, etc., so it is a good choice. Other areas of utility, such as a payment mechanism for ESG assets are primarily driven at this point by legal considerations rather than technical. Forever wants to have its I's dotted and T's crossed before future expansions that use the DevX capabilities. I will say the analysis on this post is pretty one-dimensional without really trying to understand what is really happening with the project. This question has been asked and answered. It is a solid approach with a way of transaction to the future in a responsible way. There are too many unfounded accusations. Rather than actual analysis and research, the team involved has a long business history and doesn't do shady stuff. That's the, the first writer of this place would have checked their assumptions. Enough said on that. Now, this is in response to uh, the FUD campaign from somebody who said, well, I, you know, I looked at this and like, why, why would they launch on, on uh, and, and look, you know, anybody's entitled to ask their own sort of questions. And the questions that the guy were, was asking were just uninformed sort of questions, right? Um, so, it was very interesting. Uh, it, it was a very interesting thing, and then of course, because you didn't give an exact date on every single thing, this is another you know the wild little uh, bad investor is going to bad invest. But um, you should always be curious. You should always be curious about what it is that you're seeing, what it is that that's happening. So um, uh, j if you would just grant that, you know, I, I, I trust this team. Uh, in fact, if you 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 know me, you know Austin. Uh, from block bites, uh, you know, uh, a lot of the people that are involved in, in this project, not on a startup basis, but but on a fundamental basis that we've all kind of been, you know, we're in this ecosystem, we're testing it out, and we're finding that we really, really like what we see. So again, I'm partnering with these guys. Uh, my 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 uh, sponsorship is based on uh, token allotment for the project, not on USDT or USDC. And by the way, I'm not vested. I'm not. I'm, I'm free to sell whenever I want, if I need to, or anything like that. Uh, there's no, you know, I, I want you guys to know that there, you know, the whole process is seamless. And I'm just look. Uh, it is my opinion that there are a lot of blockchains out here. And there are a lot of blockchains that are super fast, okay? Uh, Dev, Dev is the fastest one. DevX is the fastest one. And not only is it the fastest one, it's the greenest one. And that's going to matter to a lot of companies going forward. And when it starts, um, it, 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 I think it's going to take on a little bit of a life of its own, if you will. And I think that during this bull run, we're going to have, in my opinion... In my opinion, we're going to have this moment in time where, you know, we might see just a very simple 100 to 500 X on, on, on Devi. And why do I think that? Well, because the market cap, remember we launched on ERC 20, when you launch on ERC 20, um, you know, you can track basically everything as you wish and, and as you want. And at this point, you can see I'm, I, I kind of follow this with with Bollinger Bands and a, a, a moving average, so or an RSI. Sorry, 
so anyway, you can you can kind of see here that I mean the, the the there was a pre-sale, so the people of course dunked on the pre-sale. So now it's consolidating in range here, and we're looking for that you know kind of explosive movement. Now, when did that explosive movement come? I can't answer that. I don't know. This team is building, and, and at, at the top when this first launched for you know a long period of time, all the way through March, this thing was trading at a dollar fifty or something like that. Now I'll tell you guys, I got in at forty cents, so. You know, I'm, I'm getting in way down here. And, you know, you might look at this and you might be like, well, why not go straight up? Why not go up completely total up and not come ever back down? Or, you know, whatever weird shit you say in your brain. I don't know how you think. I just know that some people, you know, don't do it clearly. Um, pre-sale. So, so pre-sale came along and, you know, people bought up the pre-sale and then they sold the pre-sale for a profit and then that's what left it right where it is right now so um what do i think happens from there well it has nothing to do with the fundamentals of uh the the project it has nothing to do with the fundamentals of of crypto basically now look at this big open channel that's trade volume you can see that and there's 145,000 in trade volume coming right now and you can see how this bollinger band is really really tightening up and what do we learn when we see a bollinger band tighten up well then that means that there's an explosive move coming when will that explosive move come well I, you know i don't know i think it might be happening right now we might start to see some expansion of it this is a day chart but you can see that there's kind of a wild swing over the last couple days meaning that it's fighting to to kind of break out of its pattern here and if you look at the four hour then you can see here that's kind of flowing towards the upside and probably on the verge of some kind of breakout now will it actually break out I don't know. There's still, I mean, there's still early, there's still early buyers that are in here that I don't know if they're ready to sell yet. You know, I don't know exactly what they're ready to do. And the market, of course, you know, dipping a little bit on the day down about $50 billion. So, you know, I would be watching this. Guys, take your time and, and do your own research. Investigate for yourself. Decide if this is the project for you. It is my belief that this thing is about to have one of those big time breakouts. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not equipped to give you financial advice. I'm equipped to tell you that I'm partnered. I like making content. I'm making some content on Devi and DevX. I'm making some content on LitCraft. We want to look into this ecosystem and, and really kind of, you know, you got nine days before the contest is over. Cryptonomy.finance is giving away a hundred thousand USD worth of Pepe. Not only that, we've got a mobile app coming very, very soon. Uh, we're also launching a public partnership with a strong team. Uh, it's going to result in one of the best exchanges on the market. Also, you're going to get some unique marketing information from Cryptonomy if you sign up today, and you'll get some trading opportunities for free. Cryptonomy.finance giving away $100,000 worth of USD. Pepe. This is going to take you through a 100 billion. I think Pepe is going to be the first 100 billion uh, crypto in meme coins. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Sign up today. Helps me out tremendously. Cryptonomy.finance. Don't forget it. Digest it. And, and I'm convinced right now that this is going to be one of the next really explosive blockchains. I can't tell you when it's going to be, but I do feel like it's coming. I do feel confident with each and every one of the developers that I've met. Uh, all of the people that have been involved so far have been uh, absolutely brilliant. The one thing that I will say is with every project, there's always some people who are going to FUD no matter what. There's always going to be crybabies and whiners and stuff like that. Why not go straight up? Why never go? Why, why, why dip? Why dip? You know, those are the people that couldn't make it on Bitcoin. It's pretty simple. Uh, and also, you know, uh, whales. You never know what a whale is looking for. You never know if they're actually a really good whale, if you will, or if they're just somebody who got lucky once and uh, made a bunch of money and now they, they got to keep making a bunch of money. So you never know who you've got as investors. But here's what I think. I think this project is about to get exposed to a lot of different people. And once it's exposed to a lot of different people, I think it's going to explode from there. So that's why I am so bullish on the project. And it might take a while. But I do feel like this is going to be one uh, for the record books. Again, 5.62 million market cap. If it goes up to a half, a, if it if it goes to the top 100, then we're talking about a, a you know I want to say like a 200x from here. And you know it's a blockchain, so uh, will it 200x from here? I mean, I would think so. I, I, I would think so. You know, the, these uh, people are going to start finding this. Green does matter. So all the pieces are in place for, and it's just an absolutely fantastic run. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. 
um, dev x uh, blockchain the devi ecosystem uh, i'm super excited about this and i hope that when you do your research responsibly i might add when you do your research i hope that you find what i found and that you get as excited as i am but this is not financial advice i'm always right thank you so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you again very very soon